So we're at uh, Great Conf EU here in Copenhagen, 20, uh, 2017. Uh, it's really great to uh, to get the team together. It's one of the great things about these conferences is it's an opportunity for us to to get the team together as a distributed team. Uh, uh, so we, we communicate pretty much every day over uh, Slack and uh, other digital channels. But it's nice to get folks in the same room and face to face and so forth. Yeah, yeah. so uh, we're at Brisbane's a long way away from here. It's the other side of the world. Brisbane's a long way away from here, but it's the other side of the world. But uh, it's um, certainly good to see everyone face to face, get the team together, and uh, yeah, have lots of interesting discussions. Yeah. So um, it's actually been a quite an exciting year for Groovy this year as well. Uh, it, when we first joined uh, Apache, it took us a little while to get used to the Apache way of doing things, and uh, now since uh, OCI has uh, been in increasing their, their contributions into the into the, the Groovy project. Uh, we've now seen the release trains back on track. So every four to six weeks, we've got new versions of Groovy coming out. And uh, we're, we're releasing another version at the... At the con we're kicking off another release at the conference here later on today. So you, people will see more and more releases coming out with more and more features. There's a new Parrot parser coming out in the not-too-distant future. And uh, we're going to see all of those available as well. So it's good times. Yeah, so as you said, uh, when Groovy uh, moved to the Apache Foundation, it took a while to kind of get all of the, get everything tuned, and there was a period where there weren't a lot of uh, Groovy releases going on. Uh, but now all that process has been smoothed out, and people, uh, so all the kinks have been worked out, and the releases have picked up, uh, you said about uh, once a month or once every six weeks, something like that? Four to six weeks. Four yeah, the, the, it's not a, uh, we don't have a fixed schedule, so we release it when it's done. But um, if we get a bunch of uh, bugs fixed we, and we want to put out a, a, a patch release, we just release it. So it could be two, three weeks, four, six weeks, a bit longer, whatever, whatever's appropriate to get out a, a bunch of uh, useful features or useful fixes for, the, for anyone, for the users of Groovy. So those releases every month or two have been a big help uh, to the Groovy community in general, but in particular uh, uh, for the, the Grails team. So during that period where there were not a lot of uh, Groovy releases going on, uh, a bit of a backlog accumulated for stuff, uh, changes to Groovy that we needed made for Grails. And now that uh, the release uh, process has been uh, all ironed out and we're getting more frequent releases, uh, we're, we're working through that backlog of Groovy stuff that uh, we needed done for Grails, and that's been a, a giant help for us. Uh, so thanks for all, for all that work, but uh, surely the, I expect that the community recognizes that uh, things have accelerated there um, and uh, the Grails framework is benefiting from it, the Groovy community in general is benefiting from it. It's all going great, I think. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the other really neat thing is that with our, we've got early release candidates of uh, 2.5 and other uh, versions that are coming out shortly in Groovy and uh, the Grails team has uh, started to build their future releases on those, and we're getting a lot of feedback, which is great because all of the rest of the Groovy community, is going, as we fix things that are, are being spotted by the Grails team, all the rest of the Groovy community is going to benefit from those as well. So it's, uh, it's, it's great to see the fruition of uh, the, these different teams working together, uh, really coming together. So it's been really good. Yep. It's awesome. Very good. It's good to see you, Paul. Thanks, Jeff.